Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer. We are back with another episode of our Safari Boat Ride. And I actually did not realize that I started this habitat actually somewhere in October, which is two months ago, which is actually really insane. So yeah, I have been working on this habitat for way too long. It was super big, but yeah, I think it was a good call to wait with this one. Not that I intentionally did that, but with the aquatic pack, we now have some really nice aquatic plants and stuff. So that is very useful for this build. So yeah, what we're going to build in this episode is going to be an underwater boat ride tunnel. So yeah, the previous episode was just a path with a tunnel underneath a king penguin habitat. But this one where we are working on for two months already, this is an underwater tunnel for the boat ride. So as you can see right now, we are using terrain above the river section where the boat ride is going through it was a absolute a pain in the uh in the butt to create this one i actually cut out a lot of the parts where i was struggling a lot with this underwater tunnel if i remember how i exactly made it i might make a tutorial if you guys want me to do let me know down in the comment section down below but honestly it is super wonky, just like the tutorial I've made for the simple version of the underwater tunnel for the king penguin habitat we did. Uh, this one is definitely more advanced and uh, yeah, a pain in the butt. It took me uh, a lot of uh, struggles. I think we did this in two live streams or something, just making sure that we had the area we want to have for the hippos to... Uh, walk around and also a working tunnel. It was really, really a struggle. So I don't really recommend any one of you doing this, but if you really want to, uh, yeah, I might help you out with a tutorial, but it's, uh, I can't really guarantee if I'm able to make one because it is quite a struggle. It's gonna take me even time to figure out again how I did this because I tried so many different things. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but I think it comes down to filling the area up above the river, then trying to fill the areas on the sides of the river so everything is closed off, then digging out the area where you want the water, but just so far that there is just flat terrain underneath it so you don't see the area where the underwater boat ride, for example, is. And then you use the path to delete the terrain with the tunneling function. So then the terrain will be deleted and you will have more free space. But I remember doing this so often again and it was really a crime. So yeah, I, as I said, I really don't recommend any one of you trying this. And yeah, I just honestly really hope that Frontier is going to provide us with any options in the future to create these boat rides. That will be super amazing. So yeah, during the live streams, we were trying to figure out what kind of tunnel we would be using. There are a few glass pieces that are, that are very useful for an underwater tunnel. So yeah, I, I went, in the end, I went with the my favorite glassy tunnel that you have in the base game, which I also use for the penguin habitat, but you can obviously create this one as wide and as big as you want it to be. But I don't know, I just really like those glass pieces. I do wish we had a few more of those type of glass pieces, Pieces, but yeah, that's mostly because I'm now building tunnels, I guess, because I'm not using them for anything else. So yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future we will see an actual underwater tunnel update with some more glassy variations of it. But I still don't really understand why Frontier didn't really add the underwater tunnels still in the game. I guess because it's super wonky. I don't know. Maybe they are just still not able to create an idea that is not being wonky. I really don't know. Maybe it's just like, yeah, well, we can't fix it, but they can if they want to create an underwater tunnel. So we'll leave it at that. I really don't know. I honestly don't know, but it would be just super nice if there was an easier way of doing these kind of things. So yeah, the whole habitat I had to cover with flat rocks in the end to make sure that the hippos were able to move around and it looked still natural but even then the hippos are able to poop stand sleep everything they would do out of the water they are able to do inside of the water section 
But in the end, I do have to admit, it is kind of worth it. It looks absolutely fantastic. And when I was trying to create a thumbnail for this, <laughs> for this video, I had a lot of hippos exactly on the spot where I wanted it to be. The only downside was when I was trying this, uh, my boat ride, my boat ride was just not working properly. Well, it was working properly. It was exactly working how it should, but all the animals, I think my whole foul just broke. All the animals were escaped. There were koalas swimming everywhere. They were holding the boat. There were jaguars swimming everywhere. They were holding the boat. So I was waiting for that boat for so long and just nothing happened. And every time I checked the boat, it was stuck somewhere because of an animal being stuck somewhere swimming. And it was crazy. I really think that this whole map is so broken right now. I'm not really sure if I'm able to fix it, but we're going to finish it either way. And we, we're just gonna see how it how it goes in the end. But yeah, I, I do think that using aquatic animals as much as the giant otter and the dwarf caiman would fit in this zoo, I am afraid that it's not going to work to add these guys because of the swimming and I need to, I already have issues with normal swimming animals being able to escape all the time like the elephant grass how much i used them it's still a pain in the butt and every time there is an update or a dlc they are able to escape again while while i in the beginning just fixed it and yeah i keep having that same issues with this whole boat ride it's actually insane i still haven't used the glass gate i'm still curious if that one is something that could be a fix. I have no idea. If you have been using the underwater, the underwater boat ride, the boat ride and gates, do let me know in the comments down below because I actually have no idea if it, if you are able to use any gates with a boat ride. So I'm really curious for that. That might be a fix in order to make this work, but I really doubt it. I was thinking like, okay, I could maybe close it off like underwater under the boat ride to see if they're not able to swim through, but I'm pretty sure that they're still able to climb over or anything like that. I mean, these uh, animals in this game are quite naughty when it comes down to escaping these days. So I'm really afraid adding an otter or a caiman that it's just going to be very, very, very hard to keep them in their habitats. In all honesty, not a single animal right now is able to keep, to stay in its own habitat. They're all escaping. I think only the capuchin monkey, because they're not able to swim, is the only animal that is not escaping, if I am right. I think, I think I am right. I think all the animals are escaping. Well, maybe not the dingoes, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's definitely a crime. <laughs> this whole foul but we just keep doing it we keep doing what we do because i hope to inspire you guys at least i mean that is still one of my goals with my channel to inspire you guys to do something similar even though this tunnel i would highly not recommend anyone to do so <laughs> so yeah the entrance of the boat ride is very simple very easy just like this same style of the rest of the boat ride just some nature and some green some palm trees and those kind of things it looks very beautiful and then the guests go through some kind of cave and then they go through the tunnel with the underwater tunnel for the hippo habitat and to make the area a little bit more interesting like one side is pretty thin the other side is it's much wider so the other side i decided to create some kind of archway nothing super spectacular because in the end of the day this is a tropical zoo and there is just not really that much interesting stuff going on underwater i think this is mostly about the experience of going under the water in the hippo habitat. I think that is like the main feature of this habitat and not per se having like a super thematic area underwater. I think that just doesn't make sense in my opinion. So having this super heavily themed or anything like that, that doesn't make any sense. So I really went for the natural vibe to it. An archway on the other side to make it a little bit more interesting, but yeah other than that it's just mostly rocks and these aquatic plants which are absolutely fantastic in the beginning i was a little bit worried that they would hurt the traversable area of the hippos but that was actually just me putting down some rocks in the wrong spots so in the end it was all good and they are just able 
to walk through these underwater plants, so that is fantastic to know. I was actually really curious about that because the hippos are the only ones that really walk aka swim over the terrain flooring underneath the water so yeah it, they kind of behave differently like the otters and the caiman and the penguins and the seals when they swim through habitat that is by the way the only thing we should be able to do in this zoo is like create the same type of habitat which they're not able to escape that will be the only thing that would work with these kind of animals but i'm not really sure if i want to because well we now already have one type of habitat like that so i doubt that we should go that route and make more underwater tunnels i don't really think that fits but obviously we're going to add all these type of animals in city zoo which we're already working on and we also have a few of those animals in the aquatic dome we are building so i think it's gonna be all right like sometimes some animals just don't really fit a biome or the style you're going for and I think that's totally fine but yeah at the end of the day I'm actually quite happy with how this underwater tunnel is working and functioning I think that was the most stressful thing to make it all function and all look nice and natural in the end and yeah it was kind of worth the struggle but as I said I uh, I don't really recommend it to anyone and I'm if there are a lot of people asking for a tutorial, I will look into it to see if I'm able to make one. But yeah, that is totally up to you guys. If it will be up to me, I'm like, oh, I'm staying away with this forever and I'm not getting back to it because it was such a pain. <laughs> But yeah, do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of this underwater boat ride tunnel hippo habitat. That's such a mouthful. <laughs> Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content and hopefully to inspire you for your own zoos, definitely subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.